I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way, but that's not you anymore because you are not the same. And, and God is doing a massive work in you. But but the, God, the, the work that God is doing is not going to happen overnight. You're, you're like a piece of clay and you are being molded into that new creation. You know, God directed me to the story of Paul where he was on the Damascus road and the, and Jesus, he encountered Jesus on that road and it blinded him. But here's the, here's the thing. It says that though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So it's the religiosity and the legalism that allowed him to not see anything. And so we've got to remember, it isn't about how many times you go to church. It isn't about you being a good Christian. It's not even about those good works. It's about that relationship with Christ, bro. Look, Galatians 2.20 says this. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me, oh man, and gave himself for me. So there it is right there. There it is right there. You know, we get so caught up in titles. We get so caught up in all the things and all the works that we forget that Jesus already did the work. So, so you can stop being so hard on yourself right now and go ahead and find that contentment in the process. Like there's a process to this becoming new. There's a process to you stepping into what God has for you. But, but here's the thing. What God started in you, he will complete. So you got to let him finish cooking. <laughs> now, if you were anything like me, God will show us something, right? And we want it to happen right away. We want to get to work now. But God knows the right timing for everything to happen. He knows exactly when it needs to happen. He knows exactly what needs to happen. And Titus 3.5 says this, He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. So this regeneration and this renewal process is going to take some time. And God is saying to someone right now, I see your heart and the work that you have done. And listen, that means that God has heard every prayer that you have prayed. All that time that, that you think that you lost, he is going to redeem. And I just speak it over you right now. That what, whatever you may think the, the, the enemy may have gained, whatever territory the enemy may have gained in your life, God is going to redeem that. And I don't know who this message is for, and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart. But he said this, they will not get away with how they treated you. They will not get away with it. Because God saw it all. Because if he hears every single prayer, if he hears all the, the prayers that we, we cry out to him, then guess what? He hears how his people are treated as well. Proverbs 15.3 says this, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. So they're not going to get away with what they did to you. They're not going to get away with how they talk to you. They're not going to get away with, with how they treated you less than. So you don't need to worry anymore. It's time to, to let the pressure of that stress off your shoulders. And, and right here, just take a deep breath. Like for real, just take a deep breath. Take, take a couple of minutes and just, just breathe in the goodness of God. And to know that God heard your cries for help. This video actually should act as the confirmation to that prayer that you just prayed. To know that the work God is doing in you is just going to take some more time. You know, he also wants me to, to stress this fact. Like, it's okay to slip. 
it's okay. You don't have to be perfect, only progressing. And that guilt, that guilt is only a ploy of the evil one to try and discourage you. But, but let me encourage you right here, right now, because in Philippians 2.13, this is what it says. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Come on, man. It isn't about what you did. It isn't about what you can do. It is about what God is doing in you. And sometimes God lets some of these things come to the surface to show what needs to be dealt with. That what's deep down in our heart, what what can't come with us into the promise. You know, it's like this. When a piece of metal goes into refinement, all of the impurities have to come to the surface so they can be burnt off. But that metal also has to go through some extreme temperatures, like some extremely hot and extremely trying times. But this only helps it to be molded and sharpened. So so let this be an encouragement to you right here to, to know that God is sharpening you for some reason. Like for some reason, God is sharpening you. Hebrews 4.12 gives us this reminder that, that once the word goes down deep into our souls, once we start meditating on the word, it says this, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing the division of the soul and of spirit of joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. That means that when you get into God's word, the the stuff that's down in here, that the stuff that's down in your heart, the stuff that that can't come with us into the promised land, the the, the stuff that can't come, come with us into this next season, God will start snipping this stuff out, especially with his word. Now, right here at the end of this video, just type this. Say, God, I surrender to your will. Listen, I love you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.